Should get another train. Did you hear that? No? Yeah, no, I, don't, I, don't, I don't need another one. I got too many as it is. I know you hear that. I'm not Hi. I'm the problem, it's me. Do I have a problem? Maybe I do. At tea time, everybody agrees. How did how did you get my tea? What is happening? I'll stare directly at the sun. Why, why would you do that? Don't do that. That's not good for your eyes. What does that have to do with anything? That's not even the same song. You know what? Just do whatever. Just buy, buy whatever. I don't care anymore. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to the channel. I'm here with the problem. <laughs> the problem is, of course, none of these trains are out of the box. So let's fix that problem today. Uh, all of this came in over this last week. Um, I'm gonna say uh, this may not be the last thing that I uh, buy with the credit card with the Black Friday sales. Oh, sorry, I'm just, uh, it's just my credit card screaming. Uh, don't worry about that. Uh, won't say these would be everything I get this year, but uh, it's probably gonna be the bulk of the last. So let's get these out of the box. Let's check out, see what's come in and get some on the track and check it out. First thing we're gonna open is this uh, bit of an impulse purchase from eBay. Uh, so far, I really like the seller, uh, Captain Morgan. Rum's really not my thing. Uh, more of a tequila and bourbon guy, but hey, I love creative packaging. These uh, popped up from one of my safe searches. Um, get this open and check out if I'm not mistaken this was a lot of three cars a couple of hoppers and I think a box car maybe I don't remember exactly yep was a box car so Atlantic coastline my favorite no longer with us railroad these were some Weaver Ultralines. And again, I got these for like 40 bucks for the set of three, which I thought wasn't too bad of a price. Uh, I think these will be kind of cool maybe with pulling behind a few of my F3s for the Atlantic Coastline, uh, maybe with a few passenger cars, something to add on to the set, mix it up a little bit. No idea when these were made. No clue about them, but they are scale at least. So, got that gorgeous purple and silver paint scheme. All right, next we have something a little bit bigger. Uh, if you can't tell already, this is the newest Menards offering of their O Gauge Fury Motors. This is a pretty cool item that I saw from the Menards email. If you don't get their emails i would uh, suggest you subscribe and sign up because you get the latest releases from them and that's how i got the latest beta test f3s just got an email and grabbed it and took off so wow this is massive oh my gosh check this out That's just cardboard, don't worry. This, not cool. You have cars that come with it, comes with five total. You got one up here on top. Also thing, if you don't know already about these, uh, the, of course, the whole thing lights up. And silly me, of course, forgot to get the power supply again, but I do have it on order it will be here so we'll check that out soon uh, I'm sure there's videos online check out the website but 
Everything lights up, of course. Top car will actually rotate. The back here has a door you can open up. You can change the cars out inside the dealership. So you don't have to always look at the same one. And what I think also about this is going to be cool is that you have the signs here that you can swap out for various brands. And what I plan on doing is putting some modern cars in here. So that's what's going to be awesome. All this can be changed out, but a few trees on the side. Here's another look at the side. Now, it looks like the Dodge truck inside didn't make it quite as well during shipping. I just see that now, but we can fix that. All right, let's step it up a little bit. Uh, this next one is maybe going to be my favorite so far. Um, and just a hint, may have come from these guys, just maybe. So I was watching Chris's Trains and Things, and he just did a video shortly ago about the SD45s, and I go, huh, that was just at Brady's, because he had mentioned the custom run. And you know me and custom runs and fantasy paint schemes. So it didn't take too much. Uh, a few drinks of uh, tequila and topo. Um, and these were on the way. So let's open up one and check it out. So this was again a custom run done by Brady, uh, Brady Strains, and I think he had 40 or 50 sets made. Um, probably have a few more left, but I did buy the sets, the powered unit, and the non-powered super base. We'll have a closer look at this a little later, but I at least wanted to see it in person here real quick. And oh wow, yep, definitely has some heft to it. Take it. <laughs> of course, I got to get all this styrofoam and stuff off of it, but man, it's got some heft to it. Is this is the first time I've seen. The SC45 is in person from Lionel. Um, eh, you know, at least up close. I've seen some, uh, obviously, at the various stores. And pretty sure Brady likely had this on display while I was there. And again, he had a ton of Conrail engines. So if you're looking for something Conrail, you check them out. I mean, he had at least a half dozen or more various different engine styles. Um, just in Lionel, not counting MTH. So pretty cool. Looking forward to getting this on the layout. And having the set too. Uh, it'll be my first Super Base set. So I'm excited to see just what uh, what the Super Base is all about. We'll get this packed up and we'll check out the last box. Okay, guys. Last but not least. Uh, I know you're so sick of looking at all the cool train stuff by now. But this is from Train World. Actually, I'm just going to set this box down just a second. Oh, way too much stuff. First one is from Atlas. Uh, this is their pipe car. Flat car with load has pipes on it. So this one I actually saw from Eric Strains on his video. And what I really liked about it was uh, it actually looked like it had kind of rubberish plastic, realistic looking straps and went around the pipes and they're all individu individual and has the separators and all that. Really like the detail. For the price of all those Pretty cool. I went with the Grand Trunk Western. Uh, it's a little bit of a blue car, bluish car. A little bit blue, of course it's blue. But I uh, figured it would match some of the Conrail going around, so why I picked this one up. But, you know, you can check out his video. He uh, shows it, I'll show it on my track. I'm not gonna assemble it or do any of that stuff. Uh, Cause, I'm sure that's kind of boring. All right, next one is the coil cover car. This one here is the uh, Ferromex. But what I got this one for is, if you can see, the graffiti. I love the graffiti cars. I'm starting to pick up more and more of these. Um, I think it'll look great to uh, be pulled around by the gen set that I have with the graffiti. But here's a little bit closer look at that. Again, I will pull this one out real fast because I'm excited to see it in person too. So 
So we obviously have it on both sides. Check it out. Pretty cool. And here's the other. So I have this one and I have a box car so far graffiti. And again, I'm just going to slowly start getting that collection built up because I really do enjoy it. I mean, it's very realistic with all of them on the rails today. Here's a look at the coils inside. All wrapped up in plastic, so awesome. Excited to get that one rolling around. And last item. Yet again. Another engine. I have a problem. This is the latest legacy Atlantic steam engines that Lionel just released. Um, sort of seeing a few of these pop up in some videos on YouTube. This one, I don't really have any small steam engines. So I thought, well, let's pick one up and check it out and see what it's, what it's all about. Just dropping stuff everywhere. All right, so I got the Wabash. So I thought this one was a little subtle. Oh yeah, she loves the smell of new trains just as much as I do. Mmm, take it in, Kiki. But this has a few details um, that uh, at least. I thought that kind of looked better than the others. I started to get the Southern, I came real close, but since I bought the um, 412 2 in the green paint scheme, I didn't want a, another one. I think even though it was not prototypical or road name specific at the moment, um, I don't really have a black steam engine really, to be honest. Uh, something that's, you know, I guess more traditional. So that's why I chose this one. But I did like the white sort of pinstripe there. Uh, doesn't have the chrome rods and wheels, which uh, actually I'm kind of glad these are a little dulled down. Um, these are sort of like a pewter. <laughs> and so um, it's not quite as flashy. So I'm good seeing this one in person. Um, but this is a 442, again, with the Atlantic uh, style engine. And very nice detail on it so far, let's see which I would expect no less from Lionel. But I think that's going to be really cool when I have on the layout. Uh, again, having a smaller engine, something that's not taking up quite as much space. Can run a few more cars, and I'm happy with it. I think it looks really nice. Um, so let's grab a few, put on the layout for just a minute, and see them running around. Otherwise, I uh, hope you enjoy checking out my latest stuff. And, of course, I'll show what else I get in coming up. The holidays are upon us, and Black Friday is this week, so we'll see. Uh, again, we'll ignore the credit card right now, but thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.